our WNWO exclusive report, the Glass City has seen its share of gun violence in recent months. So we wanted to find out how easy or difficult it might be to become a gun owner in Ohio. And what we found may surprise you. Those unfamiliar with the law might assume anyone who gets a gun legally has gone through a background check and at least registered the firearm. That's not the case in Ohio. Well, the only gun you need to register is if you buy a gun from a gun dealer, then, then you'll register your gun. But uh, short of that, um, you don't, there's no more requirement to go get a handgun. Meaning person-to-person -person gun sales often leave little to no paper trail. It's perfectly legal for you to take a gun and sell it to a neighbor as long as he's not a felon and he's over 21 and there's, it's not recorded anywhere. Which can add legwork for investigators trying to track down a weapon used in a crime. Where regulations do become more strict is in carrying a weapon and concealing it. You have to go through a 12-hour course, which is what the state mandates. It's 10 hours classroom, 2 hours range. Once you get your certificate, you go to the sheriff's office and you make application there. You have to pass a written test and you have to pass a shooting test. But even those requirements are only imposed on a portion of those that want to carry a gun. Open carry is technically legal in Ohio, but I wouldn't try it if I were you because it's not accepted. Though not encouraged, Toledo police do confirm it is not against the law to publicly carry an unregistered gun as long as it's not concealed and you're not breaking the law. And that rule applies to a range of weapons. Like, it, it kind of blew my mind yesterday that that guy had an AK-47. Right. And, you know, it's not illegal to have uh, an AK-47. Really? I didn't even know that. Yeah. That's a, a legal firearm. You can buy it at most gun dealers in, in Ohio. Where the illegal part comes in, was that uh, he was out in a uh, public place shooting that gun off at somebody. That's something law enforcement officials and gun store owner Teresa Cleland agree on. You can make laws until the cows come home, but the criminals don't care about the laws. And until we impose enough punishment to stop them, it's going to keep going. Toledo police have been working with the feds to impose stiffer penalties on repeat and violent offenders involved in gun crimes. So far, authorities have seen success in their efforts with over 900 firearms taken off the streets last year, and the numbers are growing. Comparing January of 2012 to January of 2011, we've increased our gun seizures in just uh, by 25 percent, taking off 87. Uh, guns so far in January of 2012 versus 70 of January 2011. Now, according to the National Shooting Sports Foundation, there are around 300 million firearms in the United States, many of those, of course, not owned by criminals but law-abiding citizens. At Cleveland's, they say that they're seeing more women coming through their doors interested in purchasing a firearm. Now, next Tuesday, tune in as I explore this trend as we joined a staggering number of women that showed up at the most recent ladies' night at Cleveland's.